I'm going to read some of the things I wrote about the Nokia one because I've never done a video I'm speaking. <laughs> Then you realize it's made of plastic, the back cover is removable, uh, it has a micro USB and the earphone headphone jack is up here. It has just the normal Nokia branding and the front display is 4.5 4 FWVGA so it's not HD, there's 1GB storage, 8GB. 1GB RAM, 8GB storage, but you can expand it up to 128GB. I don't know how it will handle 128GB. But there is a 5 megapixel rear camera, a 2 megapixel front camera, and you can get exchangeable cover so you can make it, for example, on the cover it's red, so you can get a red cover, but you have to buy those yourself. My best things about the Nokia One, so it being a Nokia is a good thing. The design is agreeably nice. It's not like a, it doesn't stand out in any way, but it's good if I'll have it as my Nokia phone. Uh, there's no blog to it. Actually, you get very few apps, and, there, and all the Google apps are Android Go apps. It's pure Android, so that means you can Nokia will be sending out updates faster and smoother, so you experience. Generally, the Android will be much better and it's affordable at 7999 Though, there's, there are other Android Go phones that have the same specs, better displays and even a fingerprint scanner at a more affordable price than this one. What I, did, I really don't like about the phone is that it could be cheaper. I'm saying this because there are other phones of the same, with the same specs but at a lower price point. The display could be better. The display is not really very... And uh, it's not something you like if you moving if you're moving from better phones. The 8 GB storage is very very little, though it says you could expand it, which is good. So I prefer if it had 3,000 and above battery. And I tried fiber; it doesn't work. Fiber doesn't work on this phone, so that's a bum. The phone is targeted for people who are on a tight budget and need a smartphone. I I think and also for first time smartphone users. So if you know someone who's getting a smartphone for the first time, and there's a billion or a billion people in Africa who will be getting a smartphone in the near, in the near future for the first time, this is part of that project. It's all, it, called, it could also be your backup phone. So say you have uh, your normal usual phone and you need a backup phone for other SIM cards or other stuff, you can get it for that. It has dual SIM cards, so that's good. You should get it if you are part of the target, target targeted groups. So get it if you're among the three listed groups on a tight budget first time smartphone user or if you need a backup phone. Don't get it if you want speed. It's not the fastest phone you could have at this price point. Don't get it if you want a good camera phone because the camera is not something to talk about. Don't get it if you want a phone with good battery life because the battery life is not, not very good. Yeah. So subscribe if you love videos like this and if you 
know a better way to do this, you could suggest down below and tell me what you think about the Nokia One.